Hey guys, so I'm doing another update since my first one with the features I've been working on. I'm going to restart the mobile client because I'm on a temp version of good old sockets and that has a five minute timeout. Okay, so I've connected both of them, both the PC and the tablet. And this is running from a remote Heroku server. And you can see the response time is really fast. I mean, there's no noticeable lag. Well, anyways, I'm going to move it with the mouse on the PC, and then we'll see it move as well here on the mobile. Just got to go up. There we go. So I'm going to just record this, and you can see when I click... pretty quick most of the time okay now the other thing I've been working on and I'll focus just on the PC for now is attacking so what I can do is I can select the player and it'll do things like make sure they're close enough to them and they're facing the right direction before they start attacking so I can do something like turn away from them and then they'll have to be facing them in order to attack. Now, as their health progressively gets lower, they sp spill more and more blood until, of course, they die and I play the death animation. So I learned a couple things here um, in doing this, and I'm using Unity 5, so uh, it's the beta, and I learned quite a bit about this. And um, it was a really good learning experience for the new animation system. I've, I have quite a bit of experience with the traditional animation system from uh, Unity 4 and before. Um, but with the new mechanism and animator, um, I had quite a bit of learning to do. So in the 15 hours I've spent working on this, I think maybe eight hours of that or more was just learning how to get the state machine to do all those things I just showed you. So for example, this state machine that you see here is controlling um, the player to make sure they're looking at the target before they attack. And if I go one up, you can see that was a sub-state machine of this main state machine of them walking, turning, dying, and all that. So it was a really good learning experience. And again, I'm using Node.js and Socket.io. This is the entire server. So it handles the connection, registering the players, um, following, hitting, and death in here as a clause or a condition of uh, hit. So. I can do a lot of server authoritative stuff here and I can also leverage each individual client to process AI so it takes the heavy loading off my Heroku um, service and so it makes it more manageable that way and scalable. Next what I want to work on I think is items and farming the environment. That way players can try this game out and start to get things. Um, resources or items um, to make them attack faster or to craft or whatnot while no one's on that way they have a reason to play even if it's sort of a single-player game and then eventually someone will join in and they can start to PvP